everyone and welcome to another Bio Quest Friday. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm actually really sick today. Uh, this is already coming out later than it was going. Shut up, pigs. I'm trying to do the intro. Um, so, yeah. I apologize for my sickness. But look, here it is, the video anyway. This week's request is... There was no one request this week that I chose. Uh, rather a collection of them. Uh, Super Die 9000 wanted some TNT mechanics. Uh, R3 Taylor, I guess that's Retailer, wanted a TNT cannon. Someone wanted a submachine pig gun. Uh, there was certainly a uh, general consensus that I should build something with TNT and cannon. Uh, here's another one Killer Boy Studios. Make a strong TNT cannon where you can choose the direction you want. Now I didn't do that, but uh, I certainly did uh, some canon things, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, now I should start by saying I've never actually built a uh, TNT cannon before, so this was a learning experience for me. Um, basically, what you do is uh, you use, I guess I'll show you, I'll show you what, the basic what we do. TNT has a really cool property that if it's next to water it um, it doesn't make any damage on the ground. It'll damage me, yes. It'll damage everything, but it won't damage the blocks that it's around. So we can use that to make a... Uh, oh, I already got this. I don't know why I'm building another one. Um, <coughs> So we can build a cannon. So you just make a uh, a long shaft. Yes, make a comment. Um, <laughs> you make a long shaft like this. Now on the end you can put another block. <coughs> and you fill it with TNT. Like that. Now what happens is when we light this, all of these TNT, they're not going to blow up and because of the way this is made uh, it's going to shoot whatever is on the end here out into the distance. So we're going to put a TNT there and we're going to line this up <coughs> just like that. Now because <sighs> because of the way I'm doing this um, let's put a button on here and I hopefully I can uh, make it in time. Yeah, that'll that'll work. Or oh, I know, I'll just do this. Now when I light this, the cannon's going to be lit and then I have to light that after a bit and then it will shoot off into the distance. Now because there's only wa water there, it's not going to do anything. Boom. Hooray. That's that's the basic premise of a cannon. Now what I did with this, I thought, now how can I make this automatically loading? My first idea was to put TNT in the side, but I was worried. I thought for sure that once this TNT lights up, uh, it's going to blow up the one right next to it, but no. It uses the same principle. Boom. It doesn't burn any of that stuff. So, what I have here, under <laughs> ignore this giant hole, obviously there were some issues. <coughs> We've got a clock generator here, and we have a whole series of pistons, and it's going to push one set at a time over here into the cannon, and we have up here the same thing, a piston's going to push the TNT over and it's going to light it and one by one once the TNT is activated it's going to fall down and then fire off into the distance the sand uh, the sand fills back up the magazine so every time the piston pushes one out a sand is going to drop down uh, so let's just start this up and you get to watch it in action <coughs> um, by the way I'm going to Minecon so that's really exciting I just thought I'd put that out there Okay, here we go. Now, in theory... Excellent. Now, it doesn't shoot very far. It's because I have a half s half block there. And it will just keep shooting. 
until the magazine is completely out. As you can see, pushes out, lights it, cannonball drops, shoots it out until the whole magazine is empty. And now we have a, uh, ooh, iron. Excellent. Profit. That's the easiest way to find... Oh, I don't even have a good pickaxe for it. I guess I'll have to come back and get this later. Um, so that's... Oh, damn it. So that's the first part. The other part somebody wanted me to make was a, uh... The pig... Cannon. Uh, so I'm going to leave that going. What we have here is a bunch of pigs. Well, they're not actually all the way in there yet. I guess they're spawning. I have I have basically a pig cannon. Um, I have a bunch of spawners upstairs. And the pigs will slowly make their way down. Whoa. If they don't push me all the way down. Let me up. Yeah, I didn't really think this through, and I put the ladder probably on the not a good area. Now the pigs will spawn, and they get washed down in here. Obviously, the these have been hacked in, whatever. Um, and I actually have two levels of this. I was kind of hoping one of them was already filled, but I guess not. Uh, so let's let's. Uh, cut to a point where they are filled. Zoom. Okay, now it looks like there's uh, enough pigs in here. We've loaded our cannon. Now we actually have two stories of this, just uh, I don't know, to kill more pigs, I guess. Oh, and did you hear? The pigs are going to get snouts. That's cool. So we've got, uh, we've got a lot of pigs, so I'm just loading the cannon up here. I don't know why I made two levels. I think I might have already said that. Sorry, I'm really sick. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to light it up and uh, hopefully we'll have pigs fly across the sky with... Uh, yep. Boom. Yep. So that's what I do in my spare time. Is, uh, make pig cannons <laughs> for you. Um... <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's it for BioQuest Friday this week. Leave a comment below and let me know what you want me to make for next week. Uh, I'll pick I'll pick one. Looks like nobody, there was no unanimous decision last week, so I just, everybody seemed to want to want TNT cannons of some description, so I put those in. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and make sure you leave a comment below for uh, what you want to see next week. Oh, look, there's already a lot of pigs in here load this again. I'll just do the bottom one this time. So yeah, make sure you leave a comment. Do it from a different angle. Pigs in the face. They go pretty far. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. I don't know if it's going to work, I don't know if this is going to fail miserably, but this is uh, test number one. First charge is in. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, it didn't work. <laughs> oh frick. Uh, back to the drawing board.